Welcome to Around with Radar, brought to you by Ping, play your best. I'm in Helsingborg, Rear Golf Club in Sweden. What am I doing here? Well, I'm here to play with a young superstar in the making, or maybe she is already a superstar. Come on, let's not waste any time. Let's go and have a whack. Lynn Grant. <laughs> you knew it, didn't you? Lynn Grant, she's winning everything. Lynn, welcome to Around With Radar. I mean, yeah. the golf. You've just been playing. How happy are you with all the successes? Uh, well, obviously very happy, and uh, I'm enjoying my time as well. That's good. As a professional, as after a professional. college and all that. Right. So, this is where you played, Rhea Golf Club. Yeah. How old were you when you started? Nine. Nine years of age. Yeah. And who introduced you? Uh, my father. We'll get into that. Yes. Your <laughs> honour. This is going to be very, very difficult to play. She is hot. She is so good. She drives it long. She does, oh. But you know, I'm, I'm just here to watch. Lynn, just here to watch, observe. So okay. what's the story? We've got a lone tree down there, which yeah. looks quite sort of suspicious to me. You kind of don't want to go there. You but... kind of don't want to go there. <laughs> but then at the same time, if you aim there, the chance of ending up there is pretty small, isn't okay. it? So that's what I'm going for. Oh, beautiful swing, Lynn. But you've aimed at that tree. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but that works. Go on, go left. Beautiful drive. Thank you. Good swing. Thank you. Always that soft little draw? Uh, usually, yeah. You don't see that in professional <laughs> golf very often now. I mean, they're all working face. it from left to right, but you're getting a little... Did you notice how you, you, that ran out there? Yeah, a little bit. Pulled it a little. Stay there. Where is it? I think it's in. Yeah, I see it. You it's got just it, Lynn? In, yeah, I got it. Young eyes, see? Young eyes. <laughs> so, Lynn, you said you started at nine years of age. That's fairly young, isn't it? Like, how exactly do you remember getting into it? It wasn't that long ago. You were only 23. <laughs> right. Um, well, my dad used to play a lot of senior amateur golf during that time. And so he was always out here practicing. So. I wasn't forced to come, but sort of <laughs> forced to come. Um, but I usually just went around driving the buggy, eating ice cream, enjoying the weather. Um, and then. So, when did you think to yourself, okay, dad can do this, <laughs> I can do it too? Um, I don't know, I think it started with just having a lot of friends out here and then enjoying chasing a low handicap and all that. Um, it wasn't until I was 13, 14, starting to compete on like a more serious level. Like going to the practice fairway and chipping green, right. putting green, right. and then getting our golfing bug. Right. Yeah. Did you enjoy it when you got that golfing bug? Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, but it, there was a time where I enjoyed spending time with my friends and doing other stuff that was more fun. Um, and so you're saying that you got into golf. Was there a period there at such a young age that you neglected golf? Uh, no, but I just did other things. I mean, I tried other sports in school. I love horses, so I always did horseback riding for a long time. So I was always in between those. Was I going to play golf or continue with the horses? Kind of came to a moment where my parents were like, we're not buying you a horse. <laughs> so I just had Daddy, to quit I that. I want a pony. <laughs> yeah. So I just had to quit that and do golf. Yeah, okay. Horses. <laughs> I like horses too, Lynn. We've got something in common. But I like ones that go fast. <laughs> I just can't seem to find any that go fast. Okay, down on the left, rough. Look at Lynn, up there. Got me by 30 yards, maybe 35. Home golf course advantage. Okay, Lynn. Fly, get up a bit, go, go. All right, how far you got, Lynn? Uh, 60 meters. Okay. Mm. 60 meters? Meters? We all work in yards. Most people work in yards, but not you. It doesn't matter. Sevy worked in meters. It's going to work for him. Ooh. So, Lynn, there's a lot of British. In your family, you got into golf. 
tell us all about that. You've told me before a little bit about it, but I forget it all. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, my grandfather was, I would say, the first golfer in our family. Um, he's Scottish, obviously, and um, my grandmother's English, which makes my dad uh, very a little Swedish. <laughs> yeah. uh, but my mom's Swedish, and he was born here, so um, yeah, and, and kind of through my grandfather, um, who used to be a pro here, and my grandmother used to work in a pro shop, so we used to have like a family business, so to say. Um, and my dad would come out here every summer and, and work and play golf. Just in the summer here and then go home? No, no, no. So they moved here in, when my dad was born in 65 because my grandfather got um, like a pro job as yeah. a pro and then they just stayed here. Now the other thing is you won, tell us about the uh, winning at Berwick. Yeah. I mean a very famous course there. Um, granddad? Yeah, yeah. So, well, I played the British stroke play there in 17 and won. And just, I didn't even know until we were done that uh, my grandfather won the British boys there. I can't remember what year it was, but uh, when he was... You didn't know what one of the locals told you? Yeah, yeah, so at the prize giving, I was told and I didn't know. Just very, yeah, it was exciting. Um, kind of odd, strange. Very, sometimes. very strange, but, but, but great. <laughs> yeah, it's great I mean, story. you come from a long line of golf Yeah. to end up in Sweden, now a famous... Uh, sporting nation like golfing nation now. I remember back on the on the European tour when I started, Sweden uh, golf was pretty pretty new. Yeah. But now it, it, it's changed. But that story, I mean, a lot of people didn't know that about you. It's a pretty yeah. cool story. But uh, let's, let me show you something pretty cool here, girl. This is uphill, mm -hmm. right to left, and then left to right. All yeah. Right. I think you got it. Pushed it a bit. Pushed it a lot. Oh my God. These greens are fast here in Sweden. Lynn. <laughs> I'm glad you liked them. Hey? <laughs> eh? Lynn Grant, down the hill. Oh, beautiful. Is that a, is that a, uh, you're a good putter, aren't you? I can see by oh, the way you stroke it. Are you going to give me that? Hey? Are you going to give me that? Is that what you're... Is that a standout thing in your, you can have that. Nice half Ooh, Easy. Length. Nice half. Good. <laughs> so, Lynn, you went to Arizona State, long way from home for a couple of years. How was that experience? Uh, I mean, it was good. I think I learned a lot and I picked out that school to kind of get more prepared for professional golf and I think that was exactly what I got as well. The weather over there from Sweden. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about that. What was that like? A bit hot? It is hot. Well, today it's almost like this, but a couple of <laughs> degrees Oh, let's not go too far. <laughs> the experience of Ping, obviously with the, um, the Ping family being in um, Arizona there in uh, Phoenix, yeah. is that how you got involved with Ping? No, I mean, it's one of the reasons why I picked ASU, but so the like the Ping office and the, not the factory, but the office used to be here, the Scandinavian one, uh, just up the road. So I've always played Ping. I've never had any other clubs than Ping because of that. And why would you? No, I don't know. No, you wouldn't, you wouldn't <laughs> would you? You wouldn't. No. Your honour. Your honour, Lynn. Beautiful swing, Lynn. Thank you. No, that's really good there. Up the left wing. Should be right. Okay, I think we'll find that one. Lynn, when you were in Phoenix, did you go to the factory? Yes, a couple of times. How nice is that? Did you go to the yes, range? and The range, the vault, the putting The area. vault? Yes. Yeah, I've been in there too. That's pretty, uh, <laughs> I've got four putters in there, you know. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't know that, would you? Hey, there's a few in there. Did you have a look at all of them? Uh, 
didn't know, so you probably have a few in there. Yeah, I've got a few, four. <laughs> four. Bit necky. Bit necky. It works. It'll be alright, we'll find it. Beautiful uh, swing. Hold on. Is it going to reach, Lynn? Ah, uh, no, I hope it's short of the bunkers. I think it'll be just short of the bunkers. Have a little look here. Friendly flag position, Lynn. Oh, pulled Ooh, it a bit. Down. Some spin, maybe? Oh! <laughs> I see it, though. It's all right. You see it? <laughs> Yeah, but it landed on the back edge and bounced over the back. Oh, you expect it's it to right come It's all right, though. It's okay. Let's go find yours. It wasn't bad. I was quite happy with a little swing there, actually. <laughs> well, we are in Sweden, Lynn. Hold on tight, you know. He's a little bit dangerous. I feel like that looks more like Australia, no? Eh? Looks more like Australia. <laughs> <laughs> that's, exactly, that's exactly right. But this is just a stab down here, and I reckon it'll go all the way. Good from there. Not bad from there, eh? <laughs> Not bad from there. Uphill, right to left. What, this is for the win, no? It is. It is. Put me out of my misery. Most players I play with do. <laughs> oh, ah. she didn't hit it. Good try. Ah. Not to be. Let's have a look at your putter there, Lynn. PLD. Mm. I'm seeing a lot of that out into it. So if you folk out there um, on the television, you see it, a big yellow PLD on the on the players' bags. That's putter lab design. They have them some week those bags, and some weeks they don't. But um, you tell us about your putter. Grooves in the face. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they make a lot of different ones of this one. I think. Uh, at least I tried a lot of them. Different face or different shaft or whatever you like, but this was the one for me. I tried it out, what is it, two years ago, maybe? Yeah. And um, Where did you get that one? What, just on the road, or did you get it in Phoenix? In Phoenix. So I was there and I tried it out. You went to the lab? Yes. The famous lab. Yeah. Yes. Really good. And the thing I noticed there, if we can get our camera to come up close, these players make you feel quite ill that they can actually do this. Look at the face. Look right there. Look at that white spot. That isn't wearing out the putter, that's actually wearing out the ball. And... Yeah. Do you notice I that? I should probably clean that. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> no. No. Don't do that. Just keep it the way it is. Just keep it. Keep Show it, it off. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. You've been pro for just over a year, and I see, I've been taking notice, you've won six times. Now, you jumped out at everyone in the world of golf, winning the Scandinavian Mixed. What was that like? Just so fun. I mean, thinking back of it, it's just a really nice memory, getting to play at home, a big event. Um, and I like the format as well. It's fun to have the guys around, just uh, seeing them on a golf course and get to play with them in the same groups. But how were you looked at differently to win something that's half on the L.E.T. and half on the... Uh, DP World Tour, when that happened, mm. um, what was that experience like? Because basically, it doesn't know how much you sort of try <laughs> to keep the hype down, that yeah. must have been so very high, the hype. Yeah, I think I, um, it was quite all right until I had a friend who, she lives in London, and she just said that she was out on a walk, and they put out a, a huge screen in one of the parks, and she was like, I just saw your face there. Mm. Um, and that's just, I don't think I realized how many people actually saw that win. And um, until I watched my Instagram blew up. <laughs> yeah, well, I watched it and I was in the States at the time. I think everyone watched it. We were so very, very happy for you. And it was such a great announcement for not only for men's golf, but a mix for Annika and Henrik yeah. as the hosts to have you winning it. And then, you know, you've won, tell us the other places where you've won. Uh, well, I was in South Africa in the beginning of the year and had. Luckily, three wins there. Um, Belgium as well in, in the spring and then last week. Sweden. One last week, the Skafter Open. Like, how long were you in South Africa to win three events? 
Please don't tell me three weeks. <laughs> no, I was there for eight weeks. Oh, you were there for eight, and yeah. played eight events? No, I played um, five, if I remember right. Played five and won three. Yes. You must have been annoying a lot of people down there. Yeah. <laughs> go on, off we go, grab this tea. Well done, yeah, beautiful stuff. Beautiful swing, Lynn. Is that going to reach the bunker? Yes, it did. Might have. I've pulled it a little. Okay. Yeah, you must have been annoying a lot of people well, down there. Well, now it's in eh? the fairway. You are? Now you're in the fairway. Oh. <laughs> oh, that felt half That's decent. That's a good shot. Fly a little. Go. Nice. Okay, yep. Good distance. So, Lynn, winning uh, the tournament, you're going to get some gold putters. Right. Has that gone through your mind? A little bit. I wasn't sure from the beginning because I wasn't, I didn't know if I was getting any or. <laughs> really? You didn't ask or you just thought you no, thought, oh. I just, I'll just wait around and see if someone tells me anything about it. Yeah. Because um, you've been in the vault. Yeah. You always thought, I want some in yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you'll get them in the vault and. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's brilliant. Well, you've bunker here, quite obvious. Right. She's been living a, a clean life, obviously. She's ran it right through the bunker, <laughs> and she's sitting up like the ball's sitting up like a, a mango. Right. Okay, get this up and down. How are you going to play this? You're going to land a little short and release it back yeah, to it. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. I hope the greens aren't too soft for that. Go on, release. Go on. No. I oh, just dug its toes and you played it perfectly. No. Just a little unlucky. Good shot, Lynn. Thank you. Ooh, that's so long. Whoa. Nice try, positive putt. <laughs> Aggressive. Okay. Decent try. Lynn, I just got on Instagram. I've only been doing it for about 15 months, but that's a beautiful shot right through there. Lynn, can you get your head in there? Yeah, yeah. Do you Here like Instagram? I enjoy Instagram, usually. What do you mean, usually? Usually. It's nice good. people on Instagram, nice yeah, pictures. Yeah, nice people. Uh, yeah, it can get a bit too much sometimes. You don't, you can't forget to live your normal life, not your social life. You're right. No, you're dead, you're bang on. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I've enjoyed it. I like the pictures. Like this is a beautiful hole. Whoever's done your bunkering around this rear golf club is Ria. Yes. As in Chris the singer. Chris, Ria, you're too young. Too young. <laughs> okay. So which bunker am I trying to avoid besides all of them? I I'm going go... up the left wing, aren't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just right off the left one. Okay. Pulled it again. That's not in the bunker. Well spotted. <laughs> Stay left. It's perfect, isn't it? Oh, it's a beautiful drive. Too much hook. Too much. Too good. What's down there? No, nothing. You're fine. Just grass. Just grass. No okay. trees. Just grass. Lynn, you've had some serious um, major experience, even as an amateur. Like uh, 2018, you qualified? For both US Open and British Open. Just qualifying to the US Open was a great experience, and then getting to play and playing really well the two first rounds. I think it was second from last out the third day. And then, you know, playing as an amateur, you don't know what to expect, and then everything comes in. To, to play sort of mind games um, but yeah just kind of nice to have experienced that before turning pro just sort of knowing what that feeling is playing and you shot some good runs. scores at the ladies ladies British open qualifying for the qualifying yeah minus 10 on on that qualifier so pretty good at qualifying 
um, should bring that game to the actual event next time. Yeah, well, that was, uh, <laughs> we all know about that, but still impressive. And then, tell us all about your, um, your experiences of uh, Augusta. Yeah, I was able to go there twice and get that whole experience with everything that it uh, includes. Um, just a really nice place to be at, and I think a lot of people are jealous of that experience. Sure. Oh, absolutely. And the <laughs> thing is, what they are doing, Augusta National now, for the young kids, and yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fun to watch. Okay, this is where you want to be. I tell you what, Lynn, this is a big old par four, isn't it? It is long, yeah. I'm hitting a five iron, so it's not an easy one. No. Flag set all the way back. Fly. Yeah, you are right. Good shot. It's on the green at least. Really good shot. Well, this isn't the place to be. Think high. Good shot. You're on there about 25 feet, Lynn. Easy. Fly a bit. Not even a problem. Go. Go. Ah. Come up a little shy. Out of position off the tee, Lint. <laughs> I think you managed that all right. You've played junior Solheim. Uh, what was that experience like? Fun, so much fun. A uh, great team and just being at the same place as the, the big Solheim yeah. was really fun. Getting to see them play and getting more excited about that. Yeah, well, we've got a year to go to the proper Solheim. Not right. saying the Solheim, the junior <laughs> one's not. But um, you're looking very good, but we have a year to go. Yeah. Um, What's in the, your mind there? Like, how much are you pumped to get on that plane? Yeah, I mean, the second, if I get to go, I mean, that would be just so awesome. Um, I mean, I've seen so many videos and kind of being there in 17 when they played in Iowa, the atmosphere is so, I mean, it's so good, so different. So getting to play would just be incredible. Yeah, we'll be looking forward to the Solheim Cup, obviously, Ping, um, Carsten, that's, that was his... Uh, baby still is and uh, five out of the last seven captains mm. have been Scandinavian. What's going on there? Yeah I don't know I guess they're good at leadership <laughs> I assume. Um, no but I, I um, will enjoy having Susanne as a captain I think she's really good and, yeah. and having her there and her experience. What yeah. an inspirational play eh? Yeah for sure. Oh fantastic stuff. <laughs> Bloody loving it. <laughs> I'll leave that there. Yeah, yeah. Just to put you off. <laughs> I don't think anything's going to put you off, Lynn. Oh, lovely putt. Lovely putt. Very good. You That's a gimme. Show me the line. Yeah, you hung it, it out way me. over left here. <laughs> okay, we've got a little hole here, flag on the front. This might be a little too much, this little chicken wing on the end of a stick, but I love this club. Nice. Bit necky, go on, keep going. Up you go. What are you gonna hit, Lynn? That's good. I think I'm planning on hitting a four iron. Oh, it's a have a look, 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 we've got steel, <laughs> and graphite. graphite, Yeah. why? It's a bit different, um, I just feel like I get more out of my forearm with this, better height, better length. Didn't like the way it was before? It was alright, but not uh, as good as I wanted it to be. No? A little lighter, a little more whip in the shaft to get that elevation? Yeah, a tiny bit, yeah, it just makes it a bit easier, why make it harder? And why make it harder, <laughs> bang on. So. A shot here with a flag over there on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. What are you thinking here? Looks like your stock shot is a nice soft draw. Yeah. So I'm pretty much just going to aim at the pin. Hopefully hit it. And up. if it hit, goes straight, it goes straight. Right. If it finishes left, goes left. You want me to get out of the way, exactly. don't you? <laughs> I feel like I'm ready I'd to want go. me to get out of the way too.
good swing. Really good swing, that. Oh, geez, it went a long way, oh. didn't it? Yep. That was flushed. <laughs> That's right. Probably the shaft, no? <laughs> nice little club that to have off the tee as yeah. well, with a little help in the air, with a little fire in the golf course's belly. Perfect. Nice hard fairways. That'll run forever. Yes. All right. Pretty straightforward putt here. Go, 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 go. Oh! oh. <laughs> nice read there, Lynn. Mm, thank you. With some help. Wah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's go and have a look at the Wedges Sunningdale Golf Club. Yes. It's uh, one of my favourite places to go, to play golf and just hang out whenever I can. So I keep that in my bag. Have you had any success there? Uh, me and Maya played the Sunningdale Foursomes in 19 and won, which is really fun. You've won everywhere. <laughs> well, let's talk about the uh, that Sunningdale Heaven Country Club. I don't live far from there. Right, oh, we've got three glide wedges. Um, so what are you going to play here? What's uh, lofts and lies, so different shots. How far does the 54 go? Anywhere between 70 and 95 metres. 60 between for the parachute shot? Right, I mean maximum 80 metres. Okay, so you can hit it hard and it won't go any further than that? Uh, most of the time. That's good, That's <laughs> if it jumps, of course. And your wedge flat out? Um, if I hit it full, probably 118. Okay, lovely. You've got your numbers dialed in. So important with your wedges, boys and girls, to know exactly how far they go because that's where you make a score up. Lynn is here for two, needs to get it up and down. So how are you going to play this shot and what wedge are you going to play it with, Lynn? Well, since it's downhill, I think I'm going to hit it short of the green and make it roll up a bit. B a bump shot. All right. I'm hitting a 50. A 50? Yeah, okay. so I hope that's enough. And what do you do? Just get it back in your stance a little? A little bit, but I don't want to lose too much height on it. Okay. So just make it fly half the distance, sort of. A bit too long. No. Yep, that's it. Yes, it is. Hit it high! Oh! It. <laughs> okay, not bad though. It just came out a little quick. It's me talking to you all the time, Seb. It's me talking to you all the time. Putting you off. <laughs> Putting you off. Put myself off. Hit it! Okay, positive. Didn't quite hit go. it. Good enough? Yeah. Took one Yeah, back. thanks for the little lesson there with the wedge, Lynn. <laughs> I like that. Look at that. Put that camera over there. Let's just have a look at that. Look at that. That's Denmark over there. All the way over there. The airport Copenhagen's all the way down there. Look at this estuary. Absolutely magnificent. Nice place to grow up, Lynn. Yep. <laughs> Do you get out there and, you know, have a swim every morning in the winter? No, absolutely not. <laughs> I... <laughs> so, Lynn, it's you and on the LET with Maya Stark. Um, you're winning everything. Yeah. Uh, the other players must feel as though they aren't winning anything. Yeah, I think, yeah. I mean, it is some big moves we're making. Um, I don't know, I think we're just doing our own thing, I guess. We're yeah. good friends and like each other's company and we just keep on going. Like, is there only you two, like in Swedish golf, or is there an abundance of um, talent coming through, boys and girls? I mean, I wouldn't say Maya and I have been in any particular way outstanding as amateurs in Sweden at all. So I think there's a bunch of girls coming and a bunch of girls in college and playing in the States and so on. You weren't outstanding. They no. were better than you. No, I think we were just a group of girls that was really good and that kind of has gone down in the ages generation wise and um, I think it's spread out to a bunch of younger girls as well so hopefully we're going to get a lot of women playing in the future. Yes, do that. Let's, what is this? Part three. Show the way. 
Show the way. What are you hitting? A five. Okay. Well, I had four, so I feel as though I have to hit five. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do you see a draw? Will you see a draw with everything? I'm going to see a draw with this as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Will it get there? Go! Probably. Oh, yep. bang you. on, pin high, Lynn. Bang on, <laughs> pin high. Good shot. Oh, wonderful swing. Sit down. Yeah, sit. Great shot. <laughs> <All right. laughs> really good. Sounds great. Down the hill, what's this putt do? Left or right? Well, this green is so tricky. Is it? I don't know how many times I've played it, but I never get it right. Really? I'm always wrong. And then I never remember what, what, what I did wrong. So I always get here and I'm like, I don't know. I'm just going to go maybe a ball to the right of the hole. Okay. We'll see. Nope. You had it right. That was good. Nice putt. Uh. I've done it again. Right in the jaws, short. <laughs> now, Lynn, I'm going to be quite uh, frank here. I'm radar, but sometimes I'm frank. But you're one of the most laid back golfers. <laughs> I've ever met. Have you been told that before? No. <laughs> well, yeah, you are. Do you actually set yourself goals? Yeah, yeah, of course. I think I'm, I, even though you think I'm laid back, I set a lot of goals um, and make a lot of plans on what I want to do and how I want it, how I want it done. Yeah. Um, Solon Cup is obviously one of them. Yes. Um, winning this year's ranking ahead of Maya would be one goal as well. We're going to be watching you for a long time playing golf. Um, Tell me about your major goals, major championship goals. I th think I've always had the plan that I would like to be like the number one player, obviously, would be the player that everyone else wants to beat. So that's like every week, not just showing up once a year, doing one good tournament and then playing decent, but be consistent every week. So that every major be a threat to everyone every week, regardless of what week it is. Yeah, no, great. You are, you are. With that golf swing girl, it really is, truly, it's been inspirational. Okay, all I see, I was telling you, yeah, yep. are those white pickets <laughs> down the right-hand side. So what you do is you aim at the second bunker over on the right and you squirt one from right, right. left to right, don't you? Okay. Or you try it at least. Oh, bit necky. Oh, keep coming, ball. Go, go, go. Please keep coming. Yep. Ah. Oh, it's good oh. enough. Good. <laughs> ah, by a yard, by a yard. That's enough. <laughs> yeah. But you won't think about doing that, will you? No, You're I You're just going to hit your normal shot. I mean, I You're can't You're just going to rifle it down it the right-hand right. side with that draw. I'm not a fade player. No, no, you stick with that. <laughs> Even if I tried. Just nailed. Just nailed. That didn't draw or fade. Just straight. Lynn? There we go. Great drive. Thank you. Brilliant. <laughs> so Lynn, yes, um, I talked I spoke to you about your goals with your majors, but uh, you had some good finishes this year. Top ten at the Evian? Yeah. Um yeah, that was a fun week. Um just playing my first major as a pro and playing my first first British as a pro as well. So um just getting that experience in the bag, sort of, and, and actually doing good was fun as well. Yeah, good finish in the uh, British lady up at Muirfield. How cool is that course? Yeah, it was amazing. And just playing links golf again, it was a long time I did that. Kind of takes a different kind of game to go out there and score well, but it's, uh, it's fun and it's, yeah, interesting sometimes. I played there two <laughs> weeks before uh, the ladies' British Open was there. Now, the Evian, getting back to that, tell everyone, go on, tell everyone what you shot last day. From nowhere. From nowhere. Uh, minus seven. Minus seven on the last yeah. day. It always gets it done, doesn't it? It was needed, yeah. But, um, yeah, nice to finish off, off a week with a good round than to go the other way around. 
<laughs> yeah, absolutely. Okay, we've got a flag here on the left hand side. We've got 165 yards. You've given me the meters. So you're one up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Need something good then. Oh, I've thinned it right. It's got a kick hard left. Oh, is that a bunker? Bunker. It's a sneaky bunker that over on the right, but then you get then again you shouldn't thin it and squirt it to the right hand side, should you Lynn? <laughs> no. Anyway, there you go. Is that eight? Uh, that's a small seven. Oh, that's fine. Lovely shot. Not too bad. You All said right. halfway through that you said, ah, you just knew you just hung a little bit. Because right. I pushed it. It's going to go for the pin. I can watch that swing all day, girl. That is very good. <laughs> Sit. Sit. <laughs> Not too bad. Good. Yeah, nice little chunk and runner. Nice bunkers. Good seeing. Okay, Lynn, knock this in for the match and to retain the Solheim Cup for Europe. Oh, it's it in! Cool. Lynn Grant retains the <laughs> Solheim Cup for Europe! No, that was brilliant. I really loved playing with you today. I mean, I really did. I mean, it's uh, not often you get to play with such a a young budding star that's winning all these tournaments. But thanks very much for letting us come here to your home court, Flint. Thank you. Should thanks we go and have a, a cold drink? We should. Or a cup of tea? What do you uh, Swedes have over here? A what cold do you... drink will be good. A cold drink. But if you want tea, there's tea. Do you drink tea? I do. Well, I'm an Aussie. We sort of drink something else now and then. But uh, <laughs> let's go to the clubhouse. Cheers, Lynn. Lynn, thank you ever so much. That was, uh, that was a blast on a day, what is this, the, the Swedish Riviera? <laughs> yeah, well, today it is. It's like, yeah, very lucky to pick this day. Well, it's been great having you on Around with Radar. Before, we usually give someone a little, uh, a little present, actually. So, look, <laughs> look, 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 just have a look yeah, in there. That's insane. That is so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's so nice. A <laughs> gold putter. And look here. Gosh. It's like you said, where am I going to have these? I'm going to have to go to Ikea straight away, right? <laughs> what do you think of those? Yeah, they're so nice. So on behalf of the Ping family, the Solheim family, <laughs> they are the ones for you. Well, there's another one. <laughs> All the championships you're winning. Uh, there's another one. Oh, they will go in the vault and you'll also, along with those great champions, and um, you'll be able to have these at home. How cool Pretty. are they? Yeah, they're so nice. And like you said, I'm going to have to put them in a nice place. Let's take one off and put it to camera. Let's take, let's show take the, that one off. this one. Mm -hmm. There you go, you hold that. A lot of, there that is. I don't oh, know okay. which one that is. I can't read Jewelbird Ladies Open. Oh, First one. Absolutely magnificent. Those three for you, Once again, thank you ever so much, much Lynn Grant, ping around with radar and always remember play your best until the next time <laughs>